So what's up guys, today we're going to be talking about the torque settings on a 30 series torque converter and I'm going to show you how you can get more torque out of your torque converter for free. So first we're going to need to take the cover off the torque converter here. So, this is how you get more torque out of your torque converter. So, if you see here on this driven pulley here, we have three holes. Now, what, you, what those holes are, that's where the end of the spring goes in. And you can see there in that middle hole, there's that red there, because that's where the red spring is. So, basically, you can take this apart and put the spring in a different holes and that will affect how tightly the the spring is wound so that affects how quickly this pulley will come out on your torque converter which will essentially give you more torque now what you need to do is Turn it so it's not at the bottom like that. Now this hole is hole one, two, and three. Hole three is gonna be the tightest the spring will be. And hole one will be the loosest. So I'm gonna try the gear ratio or the spring setting in all three holes. And what I'm gonna do is basically, uh, I'm gonna set the spring in every position just to see and ride it around just to see how it feels and see which position I like the most. Now, most torque converters, when you buy them, it always comes preset in hole number two. You can see I've labeled them now. So it's easier to keep track of them. So, let's start changing it out. Now what we gotta do is take this nut off. This is a 15 16 wrench. Uh, you can use a pair of pliers if you don't have a wrench that big. And that washer comes out too. I'm gonna set that here so I don't lose it. <coughs> Now, you'll have to remove this uh, snap ring that's here. I'm going to roll it.
Okay. I did get it off. It was not as easy as what a lot of people put. But anyway, so the spring was in a hole two like that. But we're gonna put it in hole three. What that does is that uh, makes the spring wound tighter. So it gets um, more uh, torque out of the torque converter. And now put it back in the hole here. Now we need to preload the spring. So wind it counterclockwise. Okay, I got the spring in the third hole. Man, that was a pain in the butt though. That was not fun. Hopefully, this mod was worth it. Hopefully, I don't feel like it'd be better to take it out. But let's see. I can definitely tell the difference. Um, it did, I don't think I like it set up that way in the high torque setting because I could definitely tell the difference, but it felt slower. Like, I think the gearing is almost too low. It felt like driving a tractor or something, like it is just slow feeling. So, I think my setup already had plenty of torque in the middle setting that is fun to drive. So I wonder if I should try doing it in the low torque setting and see if it just gains speed or what, whatever. So maybe I'm going to try that next. But I ran out of time for today, so I'll have to do that some other time. It's now another day, uh, ran out of time yesterday. It's not near as nice of a day, but, um, I was thinking with the third hole high torque setting, uh, what it does going in the third hole is that makes the spring tighter. So they'll take longer for the pulley to open up and change the ratio. So I'm thinking with the setup, the way everything's set up, uh, it's taking too long and 
the gearing's too high then, so uh, that's what's causing it to feel slower because it is slower now. So I'm thinking now I'm going to try it in the highest setting and uh, maybe just the way everything's set up here, maybe the highest setting will just be better. I don't know. We'll see. That's, that's why I'm making this video to find out. So, here we go. Take that guy off there. Got the snap ring off. It's a lot easier this time than the last time. Now, gotta take this cap off and you gotta be careful. Because it is spring loaded. It is being a little stubborn, not wanting to come off. But as I learned from last time, once it does finally come off, it really comes off. So you gotta be careful. Hold on to the front. There we go. And my numbers kind of wore off. I tried to scratch them. <coughs> yeah, so my Sharpie numbers wore off, which, remember, if you have a face on the bottom, it's one, two, three. And I kind of scratched it with like a, I think I used a screwdriver or something like that. But you probably can't see on the camera. So we'll try it in hole number one now. And, uh, See how that goes. So, the hole there. We got to preload the spring. You got to line it up flat, flat. Okay, I already have the kill switch on, off, I mean.
still a problem here. And that happened right in front of the camera too. Our belt got a uh, caught in there on that rivet. Might have opened too far. It's a problem, most likely. But you can see. bronze on the belt oh well. let's push it back to the garage and we'll try to fix it so upon further inspection found the reason for that happening I didn't actually have it on there all the way so you can see that snap rings not even in the groove that's supposed to be. So I guess when you're, if you decide to do this for yourself, make sure you put that snap ring in right all the way, seated down. Because I'm guessing then it was like, uh, it almost didn't have any spring and that's how come it was able to open up all all the way too far and get the belt stuck in there. That's my theory. So I'm gonna try to fix that real quick. So it's down in the track, but in the little groove, I mean, but it's loose. Looks like it's spinning wore out that track. So I took it back apart again and you see that's the little groove where the clip rides in. And I think it just got we let it focus there. I think it just got wore out. I don't know what happened, like it started spinning or something. Like you can see there, it's not very deep. That clip kept popping out. It was able to pop from inside there over. And I'll show you how wide that track is compared to the clip. If you can get to focus, yeah. It's a lot of playroom so I don't know if the edge got grinded down by maybe the clip twisting on there I don't know I think our problem solved um, our C-clip just got bent a little loose so I just had to take a hammer and kind of hammer it closed some. So, if you ever encounter the same problem, if you try doing this, maybe that might be your solution. And I also did clean up the edge a little bit. There's some stuff with the Dremel. I didn't take too much off because I didn't want to completely destroy it. So, now I can put it back together.
that's the one. That worked really well. No problems that time. Man, hole one. That's that's the right setting for this setup. That was definitely worth all the hassle, all the troubles I had. That was worth it. Yeah. So there's one more thing I want to talk about. Uh, I know this video is getting pretty long, but if you guys feel like, if you guys decide to adjust the spring settings and you feel like it could still improve in one direction, you can also buy different weight springs. Uh, I think the most common is the green, red, and yellow. And the red is what comes stock on most of these uh, torque converters that you can buy. And the red one's just kind of in the middle. And uh, the yellow one is stiffer, if I'm not mistaken. It's the stiffest for spring setting. So that'd be if you set it in three, your spring, red spring in hole three, and you feel like it still needs some mo more uh, low end torque, and you feel like it still can go stiffer, then that's when you'd buy the yellow spring. Or say like if you're like me and you set it in hole one, but you feel like you need still even a looser spring, then you can buy the green spring, which is even thinner than the red spring. And uh, you can probably get them off of Amazon or eBay or Go Power Sports or any uh, website like that. But for me, I think the red spring in hole number one, that's the setup that works the best for me. So, uh, yeah. With all that, this go kart's just getting better and better, is really turning the tires, tearing up the yard. Good fun. Still be nice to have bigger tires in the front, and I need to work on the steering alignment because as of right now, it can't steer at all, hardly. And also, another thing I'd like is I'd like to find a seat that has more side support so I don't feel like I'm going to fall off. But other than that, this go-kart is really turning into a beast. When I first got it, it was just kind of a slow, worn down old go-kart. I've done a few upgrades to it and it just keeps getting better and better. So thank you guys for watching. I know I've been rambling on. This is going to be a longer video. But uh, play sure to Make sure you subscribe to my channel and uh, go down and hit the bell shaped button below. That'll turn on notifications so you can tell whenever I upload a new video. And uh, don't forget to drop a thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching and have a good night.